Hello, I am going to present the Quizzes Tutor domain model. As you see, these are the, the entities of the, of the Quizzes Tutor domain model. So there are domain entities, uh, persistent entities actually in the database that have uh, a lot of connections between them, uh, inheritance, relationships, uh, association relationships. But um, although it's a strongly interconnected model, we can see them in, in parts. So to see in, in parts, uh, you, you can look at um, this uh, picture here, where we have uh, the, the main uh, uh, blocks of the application. Okay. Uh, some of these modules uh, contain one domain entity, others contain other contain more than one domain entity. So I will start with the user. Okay, you have uh, the user. So basically here in the user, you just deal with the users of the system, which are the, the students and the teachers, so the information about the users. And uh, actually this is one, an example of one domain model, of one module that contains a single instance, as a single uh, domain entity, which is user. Okay. Well, what characterizes this entity? So it contains the name of the user, uh, uh, if it is a teacher or a student. But what characterizes this uh, domain entity it is strongly connected with uh, most of the other domain entities in, in the domain, because uh, in a lot of places you, you need to refer to, to, to the user. Okay. So when a student answers, answers a quiz, we, we need to know what was the user, that, uh, what is the user that answered the quiz, and so on. Then another concept that we have is the, is the concept of a question. Okay. And basically it is, the quiz is tutor is about answering questions, so it's a, it's a basic concept. And um, so as you'd expect, you have the... Um, the question, let me see where it is, we have the question domain entity, okay, that is there, that represents a question. Look, a question has an image and as a topic, because uh, we can uh, associate questions with uh, uh, different topics, topics of the course, for instance, we are going to have questions about um, project management, uh, questions about software design, and so on. And one, one thing that is, is important related with questions is that questions are in the context of a course. Okay? And the course here is the software engineering course. So that way, so basically the course contains a, a bank of uh, questions that can be reused every year, okay? And then we support several types of questions, and this is because a question has a question details, and then you have several subclasses of question details. We have the multiple choice question details, code order question details, and code fill question details, okay? And then you have these entities that actually represent the specific information for each one of the questions, okay? So these basically uh, describe this module. Then you have execution. And what is execution? Execution represents the occurrence of a course in a particular uh, uh, semester. So for that, we, we need to look for course execution. Look, a course has several course execution. So I would say that uh, software engineering as several course executions for one one is going to occur this semester uh, another one occurred last semester so as you see the questions can be reused by several course executions because a course execution also refers to its course which contains the the the, the set of questions of the course okay and in the course execution we define Something that is important, that is the assessment and the topic conjunctions. And basically, these represent groups of topics that can be used by the students and by the teacher 
to answer questions. So we need to aggregate the questions according to a set of topics so that they can, for instance, we'll see that uh, in the um, automatic generation of uh, quizzes. Okay, so this is the, 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 the main entities of the course execution. Then you have another one that is quiz. So quiz, a quiz is related with, the, with the, uh, an execution. So if you, if you look, we'll find quiz here, okay? Quiz is actually related with the course execution. So you can have several quizzes in, in, during the semester, okay? And the quiz contains a set of quiz questions that then use the questions that are in the, in, in the bank. So the quiz has a several quiz questions, okay? And so you, the teacher during the semester basically creates different quizzes, reusing the questions that are shared among the, the different course executions of a course, okay? And that represents the, the, the quiz part okay then students answer to quizzes okay so we have the module that is a uh, answer and to see answer you will see that you have the concept of quiz answer that is an answer of a student to a quiz so it's it it, it contains a user the student and it contains the quiz. So it's a many, many, a many to many relationship between a, a user and quiz. And contains, of course, the question answer, the set of question answers, because a quiz contains a set of questions. Okay. And then when you move to question answer, okay, you you will find that, the, that you, you need to have different types of answers depending on the type of question, you remember? So we have the different types of questions. So you also need to have the different type of uh, question answers. So you have question answer details and then you have several subclasses. So it is a relationship between or a mapping between the question details and answer details. So if I have a multiple choice answer, I have a multiple choice question, okay? And so the, these are related. And the same for the other types of questions, okay? Another co concept we have is uh, question submission. What is question submission? Is a functionality where students can submit questions. Okay, that are approved by the teacher. So where do I have question submission? This is the comps, the main concept of question submission. Okay, question submissions may have topics, but what what is relevant here is the, the idea of review. What is the review? So you have a process where the student submits submits a question a question to the teacher to approve, and then we just register all the interactions between the teacher and the student in this uh, approval process of the, the question. And for that, we just record all the reviews that uh, occur during this process, which basically are messages that uh, are exchanged between the teacher and uh, the, the student. Okay. Then you have this module, discussion. And discussion is once a student answer a question, so we have the question answer here, when the student see the result, he may start a discussion with the teacher, say, well, I, don't I don't understand why this is the correct answer for this question. So you have discussion here. And again, discussion is a process. You have interactions between the teacher and the student. And this interaction is done through a set of replies. So basically you store every uh, message that is exchanged between the, the teacher and, and the student. Okay, so these are part of that module. Then I, uh, we have tournament, okay? And tournament is the possibility that uh, students uh, create uh, quizzes to be discussed uh, to be um, answered 
in a competition-like way. Okay, so we have a single entity which is tournament. So a student can create a tournament, associate a quiz to the tournament, and associate the users that are going to be the participants in the competition. And so we have this tournament entity. So it's another module. Okay. And then you have the alt module, which is basically a module that deals with authentication. So all the process of authentication and that describes different types of users. So we already have user, but here is user from the perspective of logging into the system. So we have the alt user here. Of course, an alt user as associated with the user. Look that the user may have no alt users. Why? Well, if, uh, for instance, a user that was uh, in the system uh, two years ago, we may delete its alt user. He cannot log in anymore, but we keep the information about uh, uh, the questions he answered and so on. So, but uh, what's important is to understand we have several subclasses of alt user, like uh, external alt user, technical alt user, that does the, the, the alt to uh, authentication. And we have uh, demo alt users. What are demo alt users? They're, these are the users that we just defined so that you can experiment the systems through the, the, the demo interface. And we have uh, students and uh, teacher and uh, um, admin uh, demo users that you can use. Finally, you have the import, e export, and you don't have entities here. So the import and export is a module that basically transforms these entities into a different uh, format like XML or LaTeX or a common separated value uh, file. And you have import that you read from XML and we import it back into the system. So um, it's a feature that sometimes is relevant. For instance, it's pretty relevant when you finish a quiz and I try to generate a common separated value file that uh, then I use in Excel or uh, um, so that I can uh, publish the, the, the final grades. Okay. And then you have statistics, and statistics is again you don't have we don't have uh, explicit entities supporting uh, statistics, but basically it's, it reads information about uh, what are the the results of each student answering quizzes, and um, so gives percentages of uh, success in, in terms of answering the quizzes. Okay, this is the main the, the main model. Okay. Enjoy.